Now back to here in the U.S. A lot of economists and market watchers turn to data points like the monthly jobs report or the quarterly GDP report to guide their forecasts and investments. But there are other metrics coming out this week that might be equally as important. And as Steve Leisman shows us, you might not even know about them. Three economic reports this week will get extra attention from investors, and two of them most people have never heard of. The Kansas City Fed on Wednesday will for the first time release live its new LMCI, or Labor Market Conditions Indicators, which brings together 24 different labor reports into a single index, or call it one jobs report to rule them all. Such a report is taking on added significance since the Federal Reserve began debating just how much labor slack is in the economy and suggested the answer to when interest rates might finally rise could be pegged to a broad measure of slack such as might be measured by LMCI and not just the unemployment rate. The LMCI brings into it other reports such as how many jobs are open throughout the country and how many Americans filed for unemployment insurance. Fed Chair Janet Yellen mentioned in a recent speech she was following a similar index. Another indicator that will get attention is the quarterly services survey which measures activity in such areas as health care, legal services, and education. This is the one data release in the U.S. economy for the entire service sector, or about 45 percent of all GDP, showing how the kinds of data the government puts out are not really in tune with how the economy has changed in the past several decades. Call it destination data, or data that investors don't want to miss for following the direction of stocks, interest rates, and the Federal Reserve. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Leesman.